and welcome back to my, I guess, May update of my 23 in 2023 project pan project. Uh, so the list now has pretty much doubled, I think. So now we have six things used up out of the 23. So that's, you know, we're getting somewhere, but I mean, we have hit May. We are 10 days into May, to be completely exact. Um, it won't be as dramatic for the next update, given how far into this month we already are before we do the next one. I'd like the start of the next month, but better late than never, right? Right. So, anyways, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to start picking up here, picking up speed as we go along. Uh, it already kind of is, but... So, first couple on here, we already know. They're already done. Like the EOS cranberry pear, I already show you that. You guys have seen it, you know it's gone. That one's gone, and the Blue Moon Essentials peppermint stick is also gone. Where the hell it's hiding? Somewhere in here. There we go. Got tossed in there at the same moment. Where could it have gone? Weird. Oh, there it is. Somehow it made it under everything and rolled to the other corner. Whatever. Anyway, so those are both gone. Uh, the Ilmesqua Hypervail is not gone, but it is getting there, like, pretty fast now. So, I don't know if we can see. Well, that's an interesting texture on there. Um, if you can tell how far down in there that is now, you can kind of see the edge of the product in there, way, way back in there. Uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere. There is not a lot left in it. Just saying. Just saying. I'm thinking, especially if I start to focus on this one, this could be gone pretty quick. Like, maybe another month or two if I make it a focus product. Because last month, I was really trying to use up, um, it wasn't even in this project, but my, uh, what was it, the Elf hydro gel or whatever it was something like that uh you'll see it in my empties video anyway i really just wanted that damn thing empty and out of my way and done it now is so now i can go back to really zero laser focusing on this guy so there's that then where is it I can actually say i have an update on this guy the uh, neutrogena clear body um whatever it is, the sunscreen. This has been used several times now. Um, I'm not really sure if I can see through it enough to give an accurate, where are we down to, but yeah, the tapping isn't helping really figure this out. Somewhere around in here, I think, is where we're at, so not too many uses left in it, so. The weather is starting to improve. We had like a nice week of really good weather. We had nice enough weather to get in the pool. That was great. Then it got cold and rainy again. But it's gonna be good again this weekend. And then it's gonna kinda cool off to like medium. So it just, you know, it's bouncing up and down. It's Bay Area in May, like it, it's expected. But as it's heating up, there's more need for this. So that's why I'm like, it was biding its time in the wings, just waiting for its moment, but its moment is kind of sneaking up here, so this will be gone pretty soon, I'm I'm fairly certain. And similarly, once that's gone, I can really start to, like, use the other one that's in here, too, the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Day Cream. So, this I still haven't even touched yet. But that's because I'm focusing on the other one. Because I know once that one's gone, this is much smaller and this will be a lot easier. So then we have an almost, almost, almost empty. The Cottage Greenhouse Pomegranate Rejuvenating Facial Serum. I don't know if you can even tell at this point. It's like this little tiny corner left. Like maybe one or two uses left. Like, if I use it with the dropper, if I can even get it in the dropper at this point, it might be two. 
if I just dump it in my hand and use it, it'll be one. Like, if I had just waited another day or two to do this, we'd have had an empty. But I was like, that's kind of disingenuous given we're already, like, ten days into the month. So, it'll be an empty in the next update. But just know, it's barely, it's barely got any left in it. It's, like, right there. It's basically done. So that's exciting, given how long I've been trying to use that sucker up. Um, similarly, where is it? This finally has some visible movement on it. The uh, Pixie uh, Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist. Yeah, this is considerably lower than last time I showed it, I'm pretty sure. So, alright. That's... That's nice to see, because this one I was trying to race through before it turns, because I was getting iffy about it for a while. And uh, I think it's okay still, so I'm just trying to use it quick now. And then I can start focusing on this little buddy over here that hasn't really seen much love as I've been so locked and loaded on this guy, but it, it'll have its moment. It will. So then... These, I don't... I think I've used since the last update. The Hey Honey, Show Your Glow, Colloidal Gold, and Honey Beauty Masks. I think these are still where they were before. Uh, because the masks I've used, I used, um, oh, what was it? I can't even think of a name of it, but it's like that one that I really hate that lives in the skincare fridge right next to these. I thought it was gonna be gone the last time I used it, but there's definitely like at least one more use in there, so damn, I thought that was gonna be out of my way and then I could use these, but nah, it's still got at least one more to go, but then I can really start to work on these guys, or at least on one of them anyway. Ah, so those have not seen use, but that other one has, even though it's not into the project, so you win some, you lose some, right? Right. So, there's that. The Burt's Bees Sensitive Toner is thankfully another getting pretty close to done. We're down here on this guy now. That's a big jump from the last time you saw it, if I'm not mistaken. So, now that I used up my other Burt's Bees Toner, the, um, the clarifying one, that honestly, I don't think it really did what it claimed it was supposed to do. That one's done, so now I've been using this one every day ever since I used that one up, so it shouldn't be much longer now. Like, I am not sure if I can safely say by next update it'll be gone, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Let's put it that way. But if it's not, it'll be pretty freaking close. So there's that guy. But then... This is a new one. I'm kind of sad to see it go because I did love this one a lot. It's the Bath and Body Works Sweet Escape Strawberry Picnic Ultra Shea Body Cream. If they bring this back, I will buy it again because I really, really like that one. And I kept it in my collection for ages because I loved it so much. But it was one of those things where I'm like, oh gosh, it's so close to done. But like... I don't want to use less little bit. And even now I'm like, is there even like a teeny little like ounce of anything left in there somewhere? Like maybe can I get like one more itty bitty little teeny tiny baby use out of it? But I don't think there is. And I'm like squeezing it every damn which way. I don't think there's anything left in there. Yeah, there is not. <laughs> wishful thinking. Really wishful thinking on my part. But who knows? I'm like, maybe I'll make a liar of myself. But nah. Darn. Well, I really, really enjoyed it anyway. And should they ever bring it back, I would gladly grab it again. I'm just saying. So that's an empty now. Uh, as are the Winter Candy Apple and the Champagne Toast. I don't remember if these were empties last time. I want to say they were? Question mark? I think they were. But this one is definitely new since last time. Uh, let's see here. Likewise, this isn't empty yet, but it's getting kind of close. The Cella Creme Rose, like, it doesn't have a lot left in there either, so we're getting there. We're getting there. The Myriad Clarifying Cleanser. It is literally the cleanser that won't die. 
And I kind of wish it would because it keeps over drying my skin like crazy and causing more problems than it's fixing. So, you know, the sooner I can get it used up and gone, the better. Because I don't feel right just tossing it when there's still perfectly good product in there. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't think I could even like offload this to anybody. So I may as well just use it up. But it's like, there's still, yeah, there's still a decent amount in there. Like, weight-wise, I can tell. Like, it's still, unfortunately, got a decent amount to go. I can't see through it to tell where it is, but, like, probably my guess would be about here, because that's where the sound changes, and... Even, like, squeezing it, yeah, it feels about right, so. That doesn't seem like a lot, but for a cleanser that you don't need a lot of at a time to use, it kinda is, so. We'll see. We'll see how much longer it takes. So then, this guy, that e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant, I'm gonna be real, I haven't touched this since the last update. I keep defaulting back to my Saturday skin one, which actually works, and this guy is just kind of there, hanging out, being like, I'm right here, you know, you could use me, and I'm like, yeah, I could, but that would involve getting the spatula, because this doesn't work on it, and it's a pain in my ass, and just, it's not a fun experience, so I'm like, ugh. I really need to make a concerted effort to force myself to start using this just to get it gone, because, like, my dudes, <laughs> there is still, like, I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but there is, like, a lot still left in there, and I'm like, oh, dang it, alright, fine, I will do the thing. <sighs> so there's that. I'm not exactly that thrilled with it, as we can tell. This guy is getting lower. My It's a 10 it's Silk Express Miracle Silk uh, Smoothing Balm. It doesn't look a lot lower, but it's right here. And I mean, I've used it, I think, every time I've washed my hair lately. So it's definitely been getting used. It just, it's slow going because you don't need much at a time when you do it. I mean, I need to do it again, like, tonight probably, but anyway. I think I've used this guy at least a time or two since last update. The Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment, blah 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 blah. It was on its side of the box, so it's kind of messy, but it is too right here. So this one still has a lot more in it, but it's also newer than the other one. That's why I'm focusing more on the other first. So there's that. I'm trying to remember if I used the Elf Milk or er, Cookies and Dreams Milkshake Overnight Mask since last update. I want to say I did once, but I am not a hundred percent on that. But I'm pretty sure I did make a point of using it at least once since the last update. But it's still got a bunch to go, so I'm like, uh. And we're already in May. We're almost, like, nearing the halfway point of the year. I'm like, I need to start using this little shit. <laughs> and then, kind of same deal with this guy. The Freeman Rejuvenating Cucumber and Pink Salt Clay Mask. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's a funny story. Like I said, this one is such a pain in my ass, though, every single time I use it. Because I quickly remind myself of why I don't use it that often the second I go to use it. It's like, oh yeah, all the salt and all the little, like, gritty things that are in there. Good luck getting them back off your face once they're on. Because as soon as you try to go rinse it off with your washcloth, they just embed in the fibers of the washcloth. And you just kind of end up pushing them around on your face. But at the same time... Given it's like sand, I also don't want to get in the shower and try to rinse it off that way because I feel like that's a perfect recipe to get it in my freaking eyes and that is the last thing on the planet I need, so not real wild on doing it that way either. So I'm just like, oh, pick your battles, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's why I've not really been more gung-ho with this guy. It's just like, ah, uh, 
Part of me wishes I had thought of that before I added this into the project. But on the other hand, this is exactly why it's in the project, is to try to force me to use it when I otherwise would probably just let it sit there and not touch it at all. So I will try to force myself to use it by the next <laughs> Okay. So that brings us to the Luster's Pink Glosser. And this guy... I don't know if it looks like it's moved at all, but it's definitely been used a bunch. I have been using this also every time I wash my hair while it's still damp. I put it on the ends after I run the It's a 10 through it. So between the two, it takes a lot longer to blow dry, but at least it's a way I can use this where it doesn't end up making my hair look disgusting after. So, I mean, there's that, but it does get really way faster when I use this, so it's like, well, I'm trying to use it up just to use it up, but I'm not thrilled with doing that, but anyway. I don't know how I skipped it in the list, I'm like, I honestly keep going right past it because I think my eyes see it on the list and assumes it's this, but it's not, but the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Foaming Cleanser is finally freaking done! Oh my god! <sighs> this was a recent finish. And I'm gonna admit, it did entail adding some water in the bottom and shaking it up to try to loosen it up from the bottom so it was usable. So, it, on one hand, probably got a few more uses out of it than I otherwise might have because I think a lot of people would have just given up when it reaches the point where the bottom of the tube for the pump is not reaching it, and it's kind of solidified, so even turning it on its side and trying to shake it out wasn't doing crap, so I had to do something to make it, like, workable. So I had some hot water in there, shook it up, and used it that way till it was basically just water coming out of it. So once it reached that point, I was like, I think it's time to call it done. So anyway, that is finally an empty. That was a big one. I am very proud to have that guy done. Like, you have no idea. Well, actually, you kind of do, because you've been watching these updates, so. And then the final one. Because it's been on its side, it's hard to say where it is, but it's that bride it's Brideway. Broadway Vital Lip Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss. So it's still basically where it was last time. Because I don't think I've yet rolled it in again since the last update. I'm, like, on the verge of doing it. But I haven't done it yet, so I think it's still exactly where it was last time. But it's about to be used a bunch more, so we'll see how it moves by next update. So, anyway, that is where we're at with all of that. So we have some wins, we have some not-so-great progress, we have some that are completely stagnant that I really need to work on, but anyway... That is where we're at with this, so progress is being made slowly but surely, and even though it'll only be about 20-ish days until I do the next one of these updates, uh, there will definitely be at least one of, if not two, or more empties by that one, so that's kind of exciting just to have that to look forward to, so anyway, that is it for this one, guys, so as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.